Right now, I'm working for Clark County um, in meter management. The job is a fantastic job. I think it's incredible opportunities, but it's still a struggle just to survive for anyone um, on the income. A lot of the supplement pro programs and the dedu uh, deductions that they take out from your check um, pretty much it kind of it kind of puts you back on a lower minimum wage. So it looks and it appears that you're, you know. You're making a, a sufficient sum of money, but then on the other end, the deductions taken out of your check to say for the health insurance or or uh, eye or dental, uh, these things, it kind of breaks you down back to under under poverty and making basic utilities or your rent becomes impossible almost. And the only objective or, or option that you have really is to, uh, to work harder. <laughs> Too many Americans like James are struggling with long hours and hard work and barely making ends meet. We need to overcome this situation. First, by ending unemployment with a federal job guarantee, giving everyone who wants a job a job. Secondly, by lifting wages to a fair new minimum of at least $20 an hour so we all share in our national prosperity. Third, we need to balance the playing field between employer and employee by giving employees a fair share on corporate boards and mandatory collective bargaining in every workplace. My name is Mary Williams and I live in Statham, Georgia. I am currently on short-term disability because I have spinal stenosis, severe spinal stenosis, um, bulging discs, and arthritis all in one area in my back, the lower lumbar. And I really need to have a surgery, but I can't afford it. I mean, I have insurance through my job at Caterpillar. Um, and I mean, it's really excellent because while I'm on leave of absence, I'm still only paying what I pay when I'm working. But I can't afford 20% of a surgery, which is what it would cost me. So now I'm kind of stuck. Like, I can't go back to work unless I have the surgery, but I can't have the surgery because I can't afford it. So I don't really know what I need to do in this position except try to find another way to go about it. Having guaranteed jobs at fair wages with employee empowerment is not enough. The case of Mary shows that someone with work and even health insurance is not able to get the health care she needs because copays and deductibles are too high to use her health insurance. We can remedy this situation with a super Medicare system for all that can cut our national health costs in half, cover all our physical, mental, and dental needs with no copays and no deductibles. This can be fairly funded by drawing upon the income and wealth of the highest 10%. My name is Richard Dean Winfield. And I'm the first congressional candidate to be standing up for guaranteed jobs at fair wages. I need your support in Georgia's 10th congressional district. This primary is of historic significance.